What it do, y'all? Today, I'm going to be taking a little trip down memory lane. As they say, I'm going to be eating this. This is spaghetti ramen. This is a classic cup ramen, instant ramen here in Korea. And uh, it's about a dollar, about 475 calories. And I used to eat this like every day when I was broke. Uh, when I first came to Korea back in 2012, man, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it's about that 500 calorie to dollar ratio that I was always going after. Sad times, but also classic times. And I haven't had this since. So it's been a legit 10 years. I always say that, but for real, man, it's no cap. So this stuff, from what I remember, like it doesn't taste like spaghetti. I think they kind of changed the packaging a little bit. This probably tastes the exact same. It looks like they have a new and improved system to drain out the water when you're done cooking it. Basically, you're supposed to open it up first. And there are a couple components in here. As you can see, we have some, I think this must be the sauce. And we have some like flakes and some seasoning or something. And the ramen brick itself in there. You're supposed to put in the water and the, and the, Man, it's been a minute in this. What is this, you ask? Some kind of dried, dehydrated corn kernels, a couple kernels of corn and maybe some kind of meat. Looks like cat food. That's gonna go right in here. I got some water boiling back there. I'm gonna pour it in, should be a line, and let it sit for four minutes, then drain it out. Now, before I do that, I'm not sure what kind of angles I can get. This is kind of a cool system where you just peel this back and there's like, it's probably like a sticker or something, and there's holes in it that you can just drain out the water. Maybe I'll see if I can catch an angle. Boiling water in. Gotta let this sit for about four minutes or whatever you want really, three minutes is probably fine. But yeah, I, so I came to Korea to live here is kind of an experiment for the first time in 2012. And um, I wasn't in Seoul, I was like down on the very, some small kind of, well, to me, they call it a small town in Korea, but to me it was like a huge city because from where I'm from, it's super small. Anyway, it was a little coastal city and uh, I, you know, I was dead broke, living in squalor, just sleeping on the floor, uh, mold and, yeah, just struggling, man. Just really struggling to get by. I didn't have a plan. I just, just kind of came here. So um, this was something that I started eating every single day once I discovered it. Because like, like I said, just getting the, those calories. That's all I needed. All right, it's probably been like three minutes. Here's the uh, the thing I was talking about. So you pull this back. I haven't seen this. It used to be just like three kind of holes that you poked, three or four with a chopstick. But this seems like a better system. So you just, I don't know what this is made of, some kind of foil or something, but you just pour the water right out of here. And inside we have the cooked ramen. And to that we add the sauce. This, that's the smell, that's the old smell. So that's what that's looking like. Kind of looks like a, just a bogus tomato sauce. And last but not least, here is the last packet of what appears to be some kind of mystery powder. MSG or something, man. I, I do not know. So let's mix it up. Only takes but a couple seconds, and there you go. Let's go in for a bite of this spaghetti ramen that I used to eat all the time, man. I'm telling you, sometimes twice a day. It smells sweet. It smells like very sweet tomato sauce. Go in. Mmm. That's that flavor, man. 
Wow, yeah, I'm taking a trip right down memory lane. I'll tell you what, man, food does that to you. Food and certain smells can just trigger those those memories, man, those old school memories. This is not bad. I was I kind of expected to try it again and be like, oh, that's terrible. That's so bad. I can't believe I used to eat it. But for some reason, I don't hate it at all. And I'm, I actually enjoyed that bite a lot. Yeah, I can't even hate on this. Like, it is a little bit sweet, but not in an overly offensive way. Um, it does have like a kind of a depth to it that I didn't expect and I didn't remember. Mm. Very um, tomato-y flavor, but just a nice like savory flavor, not too salty, not too much of anything to be honest with you. It's interesting to have this flavor with ramen because the ramen texture is like obviously different than pasta. I can't lie, the only thing I'm kind of would complain, would complain about is that there's not that, that much in there. I mean, I'm almost done with it. I remember what I used to do, I would get the cheapest, like truly mystery meat that I could find and put that in there. I could get like, I don't know, just a bunch of this mystery meat for like four bucks. And sometimes I would throw an egg in there. I get like 30 eggs for four bucks. I mean, prices were, were pretty cheap down there. The corn in here, don't need that. Definitely don't need that. And I think there's some like carrots in that first packet I threw in there. All I need is that cat food. Wow. I would eat that again. The only thing is, it's it seems like a bit of a waste of calories, to be honest. If I wasn't worried about that though, like the flavor itself, like I don't mind that at all, man. That's that was actually quite surprising to me. It's worth a try, especially if, if you're uh, if you're if you like ramen and like unique ramens, or if you're broke. But yeah, good stuff right there. All right, I'm out, y'all. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.